Welcome back to Final Fantasy 16. Last time we dealt with some of the most annoying NPCs we've dealt with so far. Hopefully they um the the people that do the side quests and stuff get a little less annoying because it it kind of puts you off from wanting to do the side quest because you are you can already predict what they're going to be complaining about. Oh, you're unbranded. Nah. So hopefully that, that clears up a little bit sooner than later because it makes you kind of not want to do them, but we'll do them anyway. And an outsider at that, judging by the lack of manners. Yeah, like Why this. I help you, eh? <laughs> you tell me that. Because a girl from the village asked me to find her pet, Chloe. Have you seen her? Yeah, now shut up and help, lady. Oh, little Lisette's clay thing. Last I saw, the filthy creature was sniffing about the windmill. Oh, so you're just a nasty lady all around. she should tie her pet up when she's finished playing with it. The windmill. Off with you now. I won't have idle branded underfoot. All right, that's it. I vote. We just torch the village. Torch it. Start over with a new one. How do you know it's a girl? Is that someone napping on the job? No, it looks like a, I a statue. The interruption. <laughs> the crystal's curse. Chloe, I was calling you. Didn't you hear me? Oh man. Oh, I thought she was looking for a dog. Get up now. You've slept long enough. It's time to go home. Chloe? Oh, that's messed up. Why did you already turn into a rock? I only made you do a bit of magic. You knew you were my favorite. None of the other Chloes had pretty. Oh, that's so dark. It could be months that's it. That's it. We we one. need to torch the village. To You're just they're too tired to work anymore. Is that all she was to you? A plaything. Do you really not care that she's dead? She's not dead. She's a rock. No, that, she's dead. The crystal's curse, that's just how she died. And now she's gone forever. Giving another bearer her name won't change that. No, don't, don't say that. Nah, you, it's true. Deal with it, kid. And without that brand, she would have been just another girl. Somebody's daughter. Just like you. Dad said bearers don't have parents. Well, in the sense that they've probably been they disowned, do. but they do. Parents that give them away. Families they'll never see again. But you became Chloe's family when you took her in. Remember that. And remember her. I... <laughs> yep, torch the village. Torch it, torch it. Torch the village. All right, on with the main story. You know, I have to I have to give them that as annoying as the NPCs are. Like it's like it would be it would be different if they weren't always whining about oh you're a branded, but they make it they did a really really good job making it very easy to strongly dislike most of the NPCs in this game that are not necessarily friendly to you. Let's see what do you got. Uh, let's see. What can we sell? We got crafting stuff. Okay, valuables. So we can sell a gill bug. You're lucky to get that much. We got I'll two of those. Worth and no more. <laughs> Maze, you're even talking to us, dude. When 
expecting any new branded until the new moon. You don't think he's a deserter, do you? Maybe I am. Maybe I'm not. What's it to you? Oh, there's quest markers this way. Oh my god. time I hear from her is when she wants something. Well, go on then. What is it? Wow, don't you sound bitter. Santa's gone missing, and I need to find her. A soldier who may have information on her whereabouts is rumored to have come here to meet with a trader. Many traders stop to peddle their wares on their way to the capital, but only one's been seen quarreling with a soldier. Is he still here? The trader? Oh, yeah. Stubborn sod stood his ground till the soldier got tired of shouting, from what I hear. If you seek him out, keep your head down. Fact is, folks round here would sooner hang a branded than help him. And that's even with the dame's brooch for protection. Understood. Where's your master? Must I call for a constable? I come to you for My God, Reach, dude, shut up. The best of the dame. <laughs> Perhaps you've heard of her. Why, of course I have. I am the good lady's servant. Oh, what is it that she requires of me? Rumor has it you were seen arguing with a soldier some few days ago. A soldier with a scar over his eye. Yes, yes, that's right. He had a comb which he <laughs> claimed was an antique. Said he wanted to trade it for a newer one. But although it was an antique, it most certainly was not, as I told him. Nevertheless, he insisted that it was of great value and was quite vehement about my appraisal. I stood firm, however, and for all his bluster, he still purchased a new comb, albeit an inexpensive one. And do you know where he went after that? My customers aren't usually in the habit of telling me whither they are bound, but as it happens, this one did. Yonder ruins, strange as it may sound. My thanks. All right, ruins? Somewhere where it... I Anything Where it isn't this village? Anything. Uh, be sure and tell her, won't you, that I was helpful. I mean. No, no, that's Most okay, man. Helpful. We're not going to mention you at all. We'll just pretend you don't even exist, okay? Good. No, let them into the village. By all means. You know what to do, boy. You know what to do, boy. Get him, boy. Stay down. There, boy. Sick of Togo. Over here. It's over. Nice ability points. Hey, a couple, another battle or two. We should have a level. Damn it all. Oh man, they're both. I thought this was going to be even more messed up, but no, no, they just kept it normal messed up. Well, the wolves have been busy, but the blood is long dry. Oh man, are you implying that the guy did it? So it is you, Tatian. Grab the comb. If that's true, 
And the body next to hers will be Yannick's. The girl Yannick went off to sea every night. You said her name was Tatienne. You. Did you follow me? Apparently, he showed no, up I here. Do that. Unless you think I'd have good reason to. But no. I was sent to find Yannick. By the looks of things, I have. We both found who we were searching for. Nah, he was a jealous sod. Couldn't stand the thought of his woman with someone else. Then one day he sees her with a new comb. Thinks she's got herself a new gallant. Tells the garrison he's going to find the man and kill him. We know it's all talk, but then he disappears off to more for some dealings and doesn't come back. If you mean this comb, it was a gift from the dame. <laughs> if only Yannick had bothered to ask, eh? Seems like the people, the the NPC characters in this game are extremely stupid. I think he meant to ask us something else. He stole the old comb and bought her a new one in the hope they'd wed. Wed? Where would they have gone? Certainly not back to Northreach with a dame waiting. And we all know what happens to deserters. Tell the dame I'm sorry for her loss. When the lads come to collect Yannick's body... I'll see that Tatian is delivered to the Vale. Is that wise? Ah, oh, there won't be any covering up this mess. The most we can hope for is that the Dane doesn't hold it against us. Speaking of which, I saw her in Moor just now. Could you tell her what happened? Might sound better coming from you. Yeah, grab the comb, dude. You can give it to her as proof. I need to tell this. Oh, okay, he did grab it. Perhaps the comb will give her something to remember Tatien by. Hopefully this is the end of our dealings with this village. If it was a message... You are still in one piece, I see. You will be pleased to hear that your companions have arrived. They said they would meet you at a little chapel to the east of here. Great! Thank you, but you needn't have come all this way just to tell me. I was on my way to see you. You... you found her then? Yep, it did not end well for her, lady. I see. My dear Tatia. It is by no means uncommon for a client to fall for a courtesan. Especially a client who's young and far from home. But rarely do such tales have happy endings. I found this with Tatia. I believe it was yours. Thank you for returning it. I shall see that it has a place on her pyre. All right, that's a level. Twenty three. I should go. Before you do, I have one last gift a token of my thanks. The Veil counts among its patrons several high ranking officers of the Imperial Army. According to one of the looser tongued gentlemen, it would appear that the legions are planning to march south. Yep. Or to mention the same thing. Ah. But did he mention that it was all of the legions? This is no mere skirmish. Were I to guess, I'd say the Emperor planned to abandon the capital. But that couldn't possibly be true now, could it? Take care, Clive. I will. And thank you again.
All right, so let us be on our way. Do we have any... Yeah, it doesn't look like we got any side quests to do. I guess my, my question then would be... Do we want to... Bef well, before we head out, let's... um. Well, let me see first. Okay, so you can come here, and it's not that far of a run. Wait, is there no obelisk here? Huh, I guess not. I was going to warp back to the hideaway, but I don't want to have to run across the entire field again. Maybe there'll be an obelisk up here? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. I just want to see if there's any new side quests back at the hideaway. Hey, they upgraded it to five gil from two. We're rich. Can we just go in? No. As I was telling Jill, it's worse than I thought. The capital's crawling with soldiers. And here I am, the deserter come home. Which is why we'll be taking the back door. Sounds like a plan to me. Oh, so we're just going to show up there? Cool. in the Empire, didn't it? <laughs> really? Doesn't seem very private. Nope. So then, how do we proceed? We'll be using the glass gate. Tonight, just after sunset. Where the shards are loaded for transport. That is one of the most heavily guarded points in all of Sambrek. But not the most. Which is a star. <laughs> Besides, I know a shortcut straight to the heart. A shortcut. And how exactly did you come to know about this fatal chink in the Empire's armor? Let's just say I may have attempted something similar before. I may have ended up running for dear life after being discovered by Bahamut. But that's <laughs> no big deal. Just knew Bahamut came and tried to kill me. Sid, <laughs> if the Mother Crystals truly are the cause of the blight. If? You wound me, Jill. What I'm trying to say is, if the powers that be know all of this, why do they sit idle and allow it to continue? In case you haven't noticed, the God-fearing people of this realm and their pious leaders care for but one thing, themselves. Yeah, They'll pretty much. Whatever it takes pretty to much. Hold on to power. The rest of us are just a means to an end. The moment you raise your voice against them, you're decried as an outlaw. 
clapped in irons and slung in a cell to rot. An outlaw. Whoever controls the crystals controls the realm. But our kind can wield magic without them. To our rulers, we must seem the most convenient of tools. And the most dangerous. But what makes them think they have the right to use us? To leave us to die when our bodies are spent? Does a nobleman weep for a broken mug? A torn tunic? Our fate means nothing to them. No, this isn't a battle you can win with words. Believe me, I've tried, but nothing ever gets through. The world is simply not ready to listen. So to hell with talking. If they won't give us a say, we'll decide our fates another way. You can't blame a man for wanting to bring an end to all this, can you? Pretty much, no. No. I can't. But what of all the people you mean to rob of their comforts? Are you happy for them to call you outlaw? Maybe. Sid the outlaw. I got a nice ring to it, eh? Uh, that'll do, mate. You might at least pretend to take this seriously. Have a little faith, Jill. Even if you don't think much of my choice of digs. If it means my deeds will be remembered, I'll gladly play the role of villain. That's kind of a weird way of thinking about things. You don't really care what you're remembered for, just the fact that you're remembered for something. No turning back. So your best mate ready. The world won't save itself. Oh, okay, so this... Uh, I'm assuming this is going to be... Uh, a point of no return, not the point of no return. Okay, let's pop into the hideaway. Let's see if we've got any side quests we can do. Um, anything new here? I'm assuming no. Anything catch your eye? Nope. Think you okay. Can help? Let us be off. Um. Yeah, whatever. Let's just go. Well, is there anything else that, like, we... I don't think there's anything else we can do. We've done all the side quests. We got all the stuff. I mean, let's take a run by the blacksmith, I guess, to see if we can't upgrade our weapons anymore or something. Hey. Yeah, definitely nothing. Not seeing anything useful for us there, so. Let's be on our way. Oh, I didn't realize there was a nearby activities button. Oh, well. So I'm, I'm assuming that's one of the mother crystals. There are not nearly enough men here. Then it's fortunate the city guard doesn't take sentry assignment as seriously as you do. This bodes well. <laughs> Your first. This may not be such a terrible plan after all. And what exactly is that supposed to mean? Only that your last secret shortcut was nowhere near as secret as you claimed. Yeah, but that's half the fun of it. Life's too short for perfect plans. You want a plan that'll keep you on your toes, stop you growing old and complacent. Worked for you, has it? Clive, my boy, 
Even life's smallest challenges offer the opportunity to grow and to change. You must embrace these moments. Allow them to suffuse your heart with a deep sense of fulfillment. <sighs> Narrowly escaping death at the hands of an enemy is not my idea of fulfillment. <laughs> Something wrong? Not at all. Just wondering if the two of you had finished. Right. We make for the Mother Crystal's heart as planned. Destroy it and the whole thing should come tumbling down. And if the passage to the inner sanctum is guarded? Then we embrace the moment and use it to grow and change. <laughs> so what you're saying, Sid, is that there may, there may or may not be battles ahead. Given that this is an RPG and we're trying to take down a Mother Crystal, there will be battles that ensue. Oh, this way. Try to stay out of sight. Wait, 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 wait. Obviously. Don't worry, the passage is empty. Yeah, no, I don't really care about that, Sid. I was just looking for treasure boxes. Of which there are none. I don't think you need to duck anymore. Alright. So now before we do anything, let's let's check uh we wanna Oh, is there we got new stuff in here? Do we have anything better? No. Let's Oh, we had the other one to check. Yeah, nothing nothing we care about there. Not too worried about these. You know, the rising flame damage up by 10% would be kind of nice, but I'm definitely not too worried about it. Oh, what's this? Increase burning blade damage by 7%. Huh. That's kind of neat. Um, So let's see... We got 681. We got the limit break. Oh, oh, okay. Um, so I, I came in, at, I had a look at like the menu here because I haven't really seen, like I, I didn't really push any of the buttons and I didn't look at the bottom. So if you look at the bottom left, you can actually have like recommended abilities picked, recommended abilities picked, and you can reset those abilities if you tap and hold the touchpad. So I thought that was kind of neat. But on the bottom right, you have a details button. So if you click into the details, it tells you what it does when you upgrade them. So when you upgrade, it doesn't increase the damage necessarily. It increases the shock waves for this one in particular. For this one, it increases the number of hits. Increases the number of hits? Increases hits, so I'm assuming it's two, rather than just one. But, the most interesting part is that when you master them, you can assign them to whichever icon you want. So we could hypothetically have Ifrit abilities and Phoenix abilities in there. And since you can reset them, um, let's see.
Okay, so you upgrade and then you master. Okay. So we'll reset that one. Oh, we'll unlock it, though, first. <laughs> so there's unlock, there's upgrade, and then there's master. Okay, that makes sense. So I think what we'll do... Um, I want to master... some other abilities first before we master these because I don't really care about putting these on other or well actually you know what if we can put these on other icons then that would make learning these or mastering these a priority so let's upgrade rising flames and then we'll need another roughly 800 ability points Until we can master it. Which probably will come sooner than later. Like much sooner. The way they the way they hand out ability points in some of these areas. They never stood a chance. Nope, it didn't. You're welcome. Yeah, don't worry, Sid. I got this. The main tunnel. That will be Yoink. my guess. Sentries everywhere. Then we dispose of them, right? Th thanks for letting me in, game. <laughs> I guess we couldn't enter the, the tunnel until Sid was through. Really nice. This is like a mine area and they have like little chunks of ore hanging around. Okay, well this should be fun. Oh, buddy! Oh man, we... I wasn't paying attention. I was trying to activate our ability so that we could roast them all. Wow, Mr. Pepper's got some nice shiny white teeth. Is that a cannon or more insects come to be squashed? You will find my mortar and I only too happy to oblige. Oh my god, it's a cannon! Shut him Ow. Something in the air. Ether. It's ether. Then we better make this quick. Not this time. Yeah, it's gotta go down easy enough. Oh man, he pinned us in a corner. You can't do that. Is he... 
Looks like he's about to explode. Which means what? There we go. Let's roast them. Almost got him. There we go. That, that that was interesting and that that is a very interesting enemy design oh cool increases ignition damage by 12 percent. that's kind of neat i'll never get used to that the classic or no he was still a man a man who drowned in ether it's no way for anyone to go Come on. Pretty much, but it was a fun battle. You can't. You, you gotta give it that, Sid. At the very least. Okay. God, duty's a death sentence in this place. So, with that, I think God, we will call it a video here. And next time, we will continue on our adventure through, the, through this cave. And hopefully, we get where we're going. <laughs> and hopefully, there's some more fun battles like that all along the way with more giant cannons and stuff. So. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button. And if you want to see more videos like these, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And until next time, thanks for watching.